Hi, Sarah here again with one of my charity shop finds again. I really should be banned from these places. I do profess not to collect fashion dolls, but every now and again there's a little face that pops out at me and, well, I just can't resist. So I'm going to go through these little girls. We have a selection. We've got Barbies, we've got Monster High, we've got Barbie Sister. And I'll just have a little look at them because I've not had a proper look myself yet. This is the one that caught my eye. This was the main reason I went into the charity shop. She did cost me 4 99 the label is still there, but just look at her, she is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. I've looked at what she actually is, she is a special edition holiday Barbie. Um, this, as you can see, is incredibly faded, this should all be this colour from what I've seen. The dress itself is beautiful, Let's see it's all splayed out, it's got a lovely underskirt. She's even got her original shoes. So to be honest, apart from this, I suspect somebody has looked after her. She's been a collectible piece and I'm presuming she's been in somebody's window or on a shelf and we've got sun bleached. But she herself, I think, is absolutely stunning. Normally when I go into a charity shop, I do get them for like a pound, two pound, but I just couldn't resist her. She's a little bit different and she that face is just gorgeous isn't it so quite a bargain there i still think you can pick them up still i found one on amazon and that well the american site and she was 49 dollars. i've seen some as low as you know about 20 pound or so but then some have gone rocketing high as well so some are a bit of a silly price but i was really pleased with her so she was my first little find now from the same charity shop came this one Again, still got a label on, $2.99. I've got somewhat of a frizz here going off, so there's a bit of work to be doing there. She is a Mycene Barbie. I haven't got a clue which, because it's not something I really, again, I say I don't collect. Just says Mattel on the back. I suspect her dress isn't original. It's a bit, it doesn't sort of fit her. And usually Barbie clothes fit quite nicely. This is quite baggy. It's a little bit dirty as well, but hopefully, Nothing, a little bit of a wash can't do. A leg seam, again, a little bit grubby. Looks like someone's had fun with glitter somewhere with her. She's got a little bit of glitter on her. Mm, couple of pin, couple of pin marks. Maybe that's a tooth mark. Nothing major. Easy enough to sort of cover up when she's wearing clothes. But I think a little bit of work. To be honest, my granddaughter might end up with this one because she usually ends up with at least one out of a batch if I do get them. Although I'm collecting all these dolls, I've actually got to do something with them. But I do need to finish my reroute on my Cindy at the moment. So it's going quite well. First time, I'm quite pleased. So, again, not a bad find. I think for $2.99, well worth it. Over she goes. The third one from the exactly the same shop was this little Monster High. I do think they're pretty, but I thought she looked quite sad and I saw her little face and I thought, oh, well, go on then. Again, $3.99 from the same shop. But with this particular shop, if you bought two, you got one free. So at that rate, the Mycene was free. Again, can't complain. So over she goes. Now, I have no idea who she is. If there's any Monster High collectors out there, please let me know. I'm just curious to find out who they are. She appears to have little bat wings for her ears up the top here. We seem to be in quite good condition, even though they are rubbery. And she's had wings or something protruding out of her back. There is a number. Again, I don't know whether that can help people find it. If anyone knows that, again, please let me know. Always learning, always wanting to know more. Her hair again, pretty dreadful at the moment, but not that rough. So I don't know whether it's just dirt and scuff. So she might be worth a go at sort of giving her a soak in some hot water uh, and seeing whether I can get that out. If not, she's a potential for a reroute if I get into this rerouting. Like I said, I've really enjoyed doing the Cindy. Surprised how long it actually takes. I do really take my hats off to you guys who do full on customs because oh, oh she's gone blurry then it is hard work and the work you do is absolutely stunning seems to have all the parts not overly loose my granddaughter's not quite old enough for these yet she did have one 
and um, unfortunately she ended up uh, with half a leg. I have mended her, but they, they are a little bit fragile for younger children. Even though she's nearly four and it does say, you know, I don't think it is four, I think it's a little bit older these are four. But I think they are fragile for playing with, to be totally honest, but they're very lovely for collecting. So we'll see what we can do with her. So she was number three in that little selection, so I'm quite pleased. The last one was actually from a different charity shop, literally just down the road from us. Wasn't getting anything. Here she is. I wasn't planning on anything. And all I saw out of this box was that. A wad of hair. So I literally just pulled her out like a little plant. And this is what I found. This is definitely going to be one of my granddaughters. She's nice and solid. Barbie's sister. Skipper, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Very pretty little doll. Good condition, nice solid legs. That's why I say it'd be great for my granddaughter. She's nice and solid. Little dress, wow, it looks, hmm, there's no labels. There's no labels at all. I don't know, it, it, could, it looks like it fits so well. It could be an original, but usually they do have a tendency to have labels in Barbie things and there's no sign of anything. But even so, a little wash, because it's got a couple of little marks on it. Nothing major, but it's got a couple of marks. And I think her hair, just a case of soaking that boiling water, give it a brush down, fix it into position. And I think her hair will be lovely. So somebody will be pleased to add that to her collection, because she's not actually got one of this. She's just starting to really get into her dolls. But obviously, because she's still young, we've got to make sure that uh, they're not the sort that two minutes later the leg drops off. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. And I'm really pleased with the price, 50 pence. Can't go wrong, can you? If it makes somebody smile or I watch my granddaughter playing with it for the sake of 50p, it's well worth it. The only problem is I can't take her in charity shops with me now because every time she sees one, it's, oh, look, Nana, no, look, Nana, another one. And I'm like, no, not another one. Because I do try to only pick out what takes my fancy. Because again, I'm going to say it, but it seems to be coming not the truth that I am not a fashion doll collector I do collect other dolls as you know but usually not fashion dolls but every time I go in there's just a little face looking at me and I do end up caving so if there's anybody out there that can give me information on the little monster high here or any other information on the dolls I would love to hear from you and I think I'm now going to ban myself from the charity shop for a couple of days which I know I won't because unfortunately I have to walk past it every single day so I always have to pop my head in but if you like this video please like share have a nosy subscribe if you want to hope to see you all again got a box opening coming up waiting on a parcel at the moment for my midi blithe so i'm a little bit excited about that so hope to see you soon bye